Yeah, I wanted to do a quick review of the benefits of raw honey. Okay. So you got this um this article on healthline.com. Okay, by this uh this this article is by um it says medically reviewed by Marie Lorraine Johnson, MS RD CPT by Rena Goldman and Catherine Clark, updated on February 26, 2023. So this this was recently updated. It says uh, antioxidants, nutrition, anti uh, antibacterial and antifungal heal wounds, boost immunity, digestion and gut health, sore throat, brain benefits, risks, how to choose storage. OK, all of these things, all of these things are the benefits of raw honey. All right. And the Manuka honey is, is even better as well. But I'm going to go into that in a second. It says raw honey has historically been known to heal wounds, help digestion and soothe the sore throat. Aside from being delicious, there are other ways raw honey is good for you because honey is delicious, man. You know, you have certain you have certain people who uh um who who put raw honey on their pancakes, you know, or in other certain foods. You know, even just you know eating it by itself is delicious. Like I said, I use it I use it for my teas. I drink green teas. I really really like hibiscus. I really love hibiscus. The things of that nature. I really love hibiscus tea, and I and I um have a raspberry hibiscus box in the crib right now, and I, I drink that on a regular, you know, um, and I feel better. You know what I'm saying? I don't just drink it, you know, when I have a cold. Sometimes I just drink it just because. Yeah, I just I just love the flavor, and then the honey intensifies the flavor, and it's good for you. All right. So this says raw honey has historically been known to heal wounds, help digestion, and soothe a sore throat. Aside from being delicious, there are other ways raw honey is good for you. Raw honey has been used as a remedy throughout history and has a variety of health benefits and medical uses. It's even used in some hospitals as a treatment for wounds. Many of these health benefits are specific to raw or unpasteurized honey. All right, so there you go, man. All right, which the scriptures talk about this. The scriptures talk about the, the sweetness and the goodness of honey, man. All right. That these little creatures, these these little uh, uh, flying things, these bees, you know, produce on a regular, like these hives. All right. That says most of the honey you find in grocery stores is pasteurized. The high heat kills unwanted yeast, can improve the color and texture, removes any crystallization, and extends the shelf life. However, many of the beneficial nutrients are also destroyed in the process. Yeah, because it's being processed. Okay, it's being changed. Like like I mentioned earlier, man. Like a lot of these foods out here, well, excuse me, we have a lot of foods out here that that are not well that are poison that are that are that are not good for us, you know. But but what the scriptures talk about us eating our defiled bread among the Gentiles. As a matter of fact, let me pull that, all right, because that was pretty much the um the benefits on the raw honey, and then I want to go into the manuka through the spirit, all right. But let me get this in the book. I know it's in Ezekiel. I think it's Ezekiel, either three and nineteen or four and nineteen. Let me see, uh, Ezekiel, let's try 4 and 19 first. There is no 19. Ezekiel. Four and 13, there we go, Salakia. Ezekiel 4 and 13, it says, And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel, all right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. All right, because Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were scattered into the different parts of the of, of the earth, all right, to the ends of the earth, under every nation under the sun. Okay, and, and one of the worst captivities, you know, that, that we're present in today is, is in America. All right. I mentioned that I camp early today, but they want us to, you know, um eat eat lab grown meats. They want to they they're like they're they're turning all the foods into plastic and different types of waste of insects that, that we're not supposed to be eating. Or whatever the case, man. I believe it was the elder Ayathun, who was uh, on GMS on air. He went over a video some some odd months ago, you know, talking about all of this shit that the government, you know, that the C, uh, that the uh, the FDA has approved. All right, for for people to eat, man. You know, some of it contains a uh, 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 animal waste. I mentioned earlier, um, uh, insects that we're not supposed to be eating. All right. And this is why we have a Levitical law. This is why we have the law of Leviticus, the 11th chapter, the dietary law. So that the, so that way we know what we're supposed to eat and what we're not supposed to eat. All right. The Lord made it very clear for us. OK, 
But that was the point on that. So, you know, today, the foods that we we don't want to eat, we, 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 we're, we're going to have to because a lot of it is devoured. Even even salmon, which I like, which I learned to enjoy salmon a lot recently as well. All right. They got fake fishes. I think tilapia is a fake fish. All right. It's ge genetically modified. You know, so a lot of these foods that's that's, you know, created is um is, is bad for us, you know, which and it's not food in general. OK, but going back to the point, the, the most High made the medicines out of the earth. And I think that's in the book of Sirach. Was it the 39th chapter? No, it wasn't the 39th chapter. Let me see. All right, let me go ahead and uh, do this. Um. All right, because everything, everything before Esau, you know, started taking over everything and things of that nature, you know, Israel and even the other nations knew that that what medicines, herbs, you know, things that that keep us healthy and strong and, and you know, give us longevity is made from the earth, man. OK, it was it was the chapter before 39. OK, it was uh, Ecclesiastic is called Sirach chapter 38. Verse four, it says, the Lord Yahweh have created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise will not abhor them. As a matter of fact, hell, let me start at verse one. It says, honor of a, a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which ye may have of him for the Lord have created him. OK, so a physician or a doctor, a.k.a. a doctor. All right. You got it. You got to give him that honor, that credit. Now, I'm not talking about the doctors in these damn hospitals today. Those are not real doctors, man. All right. Those are Edomites. And wicked jakes who are physicians of no value. Okay. The hospital industry is just all about money. That's why they, you know, they uh they they uh the uh what's what's the word? They diagnose you with some bullshit and then they go prescribe, you know, bullshit drugs, okay, that the ph uh, pharmaceutical pharmaceutical, excuse me, pharmaceutical company just benefits off of. All right, and which is really further either keeping you sick or just giving you a, pl a placebo effect, okay. But, you know, a, a real physician, one who, who's who's savvy and wise and has knowledge on, you know, different medicines and things of that nature, give him his honor, give him his credit where it's due. All right. It says what? For the Lord have created him. Now, this 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 could be talk about a physical uh, physician. All right. But what? We also have spiritual phys uh, physicians, man. Brothers who just got that therapeutic spirit like, damn, I just want to, you know, uh, talk to this brother, you know, brothers who know how to listen. Brothers know. What 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 right words to say? You just like damn, I you know the water for that. Call Allah and la Yahabashim Asha or Yahabashim Asha Bragata. Okay. Uh, for of the Most High come of healing. So there you go. For of the Most High come of healing, and he shall receive honor of the King. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. Yeah, man, because. At, like when when you when you when you know how to heal somebody's spirit, man, that's just such a beautiful thing. You know, there's some brothers that that I listen to, then which some of them I have named before. That just their voices are so peaceful. You can tell that their spirit is, is just so humble, and it's 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 like a, it's like like just just it's um it's like listening to affirmations, and in in which it is, it's spiritual affirmations when you listen to certain brothers, man. Okay. These are spiritual affirmations, all right? So what it says, and in the sight of great men, he shall be in admiration. So there you go, man. All right, even great men honor a, a, a physician, a doctor. And Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, okay, whose name is he is salvation, he's the greatest physician, all right? Verse four, here's the point. It says, the Lord have created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. All right, that word abhor means to hate. All right. Or despise. OK, the most I made the medicines out of the earth. So what you you got to You got to it, it, And it's nothing to do research. All right. But these people that are sick out here, they're going to continue to remain sick and be sick because they don't want to look up information. And I always quote it. <laughs> but but, you know, like like Papu said, you got a bunch of dumb niggas with smartphones, man. All right. People only use, you know, their, their phones and the Internet for, for stupid shit like cat videos. OK, now look at women twerk. You know, but um, that was pretty much on that. Let me go ahead and get this. Well, matter of fact, 
I'll close out with that scripture, but I want to get this. All right. So I typed in because this Manuka honey, Manukora, Manuka honey, raw Manuka honey, it has a 50 plus MGO. So I want to type in, I want to go type in what is MGO in honey. All right. Let me see. Um, this wasn't the site, but there's, of course, information up here. All right. So MGO definition, it says MGO is short for methaglyoxyl. Methaglyoxyl. MGO is a unique naturally occurring compound found in Manuka honey that exhibits potent antibacterial activity and has made Manuka one of the most sought after honeys in the world. So, so Manuka honey is precious. And like I mentioned um earlier... I had it when I was down south and, you know, I was eating it and I was, I was, you know, uh, 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 uh using it in, in my teas and things of that nature. And like my body just felt so much better. Like I was hardly, I was hardly ever getting sick, even with the common cold, you know? And I usually, I usually catch a cold when it's like winter or if, if I drink too much over a long period of time, which, which is not good for you. Okay. Because what this alcohol is, is, is complete shit as well. All right. This is not, you know, real alcohol and things of that nature. And they put additives, you know, wicked additives inside of it as well. But when I e either either if it's too cold or or I, um, I drink too much over a long a period of time or I may eat something by accident, you know, and it does something to my body, which happens often as well. OK, I'll eat, you know, Manuka honey either by itself or or, you know, with some tea and things of that nature. And I'll be fit like I'll feel better immediately, immediately. Like maybe one or two days, if I'm being honest. All right. So what? It's an antibacterial. And like I, I was talking about earlier, I, I had I had a I had a um a, a, a rash. You know that like that was really really hurting. And you know I, I used just the regular raw honey. But if I would have used the manuka honey, it would have did the same thing, probably even faster. All right. But this is just a, a little definition on the the MGO and things of that nature. It's it's um because what honey does. You know, uh, raw honey does, it takes away those bacteria that might cause these certain rashes, okay? That gives us these certain, uh, 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 that when we get these certain ailments, honey takes away the bacteria, okay? And the toxicity of, of, of those, uh, those, those rashes or those scabs or those wounds, okay? It's better than rubbing alcohol. Um, it says a study in 2008 by researchers at why Waikato University found that the anti my antimicrobial activity NPA in Manuka honey, i.e., or example given, its antibacterial properties was directly correlated with its MGO levels. So the higher the MGO, the stronger the antibacterial properties of Manuka honey. Makes sense? Great. But where does MGO come from? Well, that's really the point. And you you can read this article for, you know for yourselves. And things of that nature. So this this MG so the higher the MGO, the more potent, the more active it is for you know what I'm saying, like uh uh, uh clearing up wounds or rashes or whatever the case. Because it, it and, uh, and honestly, nobody nobody likes wounds and rashes, man. Okay, then it gets infected if you're not treating it properly. You know, next thing you know, you gotta go to the doctor because your damn leg about to fall off or some stupid shit. Okay, so look, it, it's good, it's good to, to use the medicines of the earth, man. Now, if the Lord has created them, you would be stupid to not use them, okay? Um, Let me get this one last scripture, then I'll close out. Um, oops, I spelled publicans wrong, because punlicans is not a word. This is the book of, this is the book of Luke chapter 5, verse 30. It says, but their scribes and Pharisees murmured against his disciples, saying, why do you eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And let's see what Yahweh said. And a, a publican is a tax collector. So these wicked scribes and Pharisees was wondering why Yahweh, all right, who the world calls Jesus Christ, was sitting among, you know, tax collectors and, and, and sinners, you know, harlots. OK, the the uh, the, the, the quote unquote scum of Israel. They was wondering why, 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 
uh, uh, Yahweh Shah was sitting with them, and they asked the disciples, like, yo, this is the guy, this is the man you follow, why the fuck is he saying with people who, who who's, why is he saying with sinners, all right, and Yahweh Shah's response was so perfect, verse 31, it says, and Yahweh Shah answering said unto them, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick, okay, they that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick, and what, Akim, Wakwatium, we are sick in this society, we're very sick, man, you know, as far as headspace, you know, bodily, sometimes our spirits and things of that nature. This is why we need Yahweh Shai, man. This is why we need the Lord, because we are sick. All right. And we need that. We need that physician. Verse uh, 32. It says, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. OK, so that's why we go out on the highways and the hedges and we, we, we preach to the to the sinners. OK, and the ones that's despised among men. And things of that nature, because what? They're sick. And if they humble down, they will receive that healing. Okay? The Apostle Paul, when he was called Saul, he was sick. He was killing the prophets. And what? Yahweh Shah from the heavens, you know, uh, reached out to him and was just like, look, you're going to serve me now. All right? You kicking against the pricks, you killing my prophets, you kicking against the pricks, it's not going to work no more. Okay? I mean, it never worked to begin with, but, you, you know, you're going you gonna to serve me. And what the apostle Paul became one of the greatest, you know, disciples and apostles following after, you know, the works of Yahweh Shai. All right. A very beloved apostle, you know, but I just want to make this video real quick. Use your medicines, Akim, walk with you, you know, your brothers and sisters, use your medicines, use your natural medicines, look up information. All right. Because it will profit you on the long run. With that being said, Shalom.